out of nowhere, he was like, hey, look, this is going to sound kind of strange, but um, do you have any pics of your butt? And I'm like, My videos. No. he put, bitch, look at you. Ain't no one want to fuck with you. And then almost two hours later, he came back to that same video. So I guess he couldn't get me out of his head. He came to that same Hi, I'm Nettie, Nettie, that's me, and I'm back for another video. Please like, thumbs up, and subscribe if you would like. Um, all right, so this is about the time I got a ride from a perverted stranger. Um, I didn't have my car anymore. This happened back in like 2019. I needed to return some videos to the library, and I didn't want to get a fine. So I had to get there. That walk was going to be like 45 minutes. And it's hot outside. So I'm walking there. And he sees me. He has this like pickup truck. This beat up pickup truck. But that beat up pickup truck was better than me just walking. And he slowed down and said, hey, do you need a ride? And I actually did. It was hot as fuck. I had a long way to go. <laughs> so I said, yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. So he drove me to the library and as I'm getting out, he's like, Hey, if you want to ride back, I can give you a ride back. I'm like, perfect. Yes. Thank you so much. So I got out, returned the videos I had and got back in his car. We were having regular everyday conversation. Hey, where are you from? Um, did you go to this school? Your favorite food? Regular everyday conversation. He was just calm and relaxed. He was probably like a got young guy, like 25, maybe. So I'm like, great, this is perfect. Get a nice little ride back home. So we're almost at my home, just a few minutes away. Out of nowhere, he was like, hey, look, this is gonna sound kind of strange, but um, do you have any pics of your butt? And I'm like, no. He was like, can you take one? Can you, do you have any pics? You don't have any, can I just see your butt then? Can I see your butt? I'm like, what <laughs> I'm nervous as hell now like oh my god what is this guy talking about we were just talking about our favorite food seconds ago and out of nowhere he's asking me do I have pictures of my butt to share with him and he was like you have any pictures of your boobs in do you have pictures of your boobs I'm, I'm no I don't really take pictures like that and leave it in my phone I don't I don't have any pictures like that and um he was like, can I just see? Can you just pull your shirt down a little bit? Let me see. Can you just pull your pants down? Can you pull your pants down a little bit? I'm like, oh my fucking God. So I'm trying to like change the subject real quickly. But yeah, I really appreciate the ride though. Your parents did a really good job, you know, raising just a respectful gentleman just to help someone that they don't know on the side of the road because it is really hot out there. And he got kind of quiet. Like maybe he was feeling guilty. And he was like, uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So now I kind of feel a little bad asking you about that then. Um, but he didn't stop. Even though he said he did feel kind of bad about it, he probably shouldn't have asked me that. He didn't stop. He continued. So he's like, um, can I just see though? Can I just see your nipple a little bit? Can I just see your nipple? I told him, all right, you can just turn into here. I didn't let him know where my place was. I told him to turn into a different apartment, but he probably thought it was my place. I was like, okay, here we are. Just right here, right here. He was like, all right, before you get out, just show me real quick. Just show me real quick. I was like, all right, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Like, just show me. Just pull it down a little bit. Just pull it down a little bit. I'm getting out of the car. Like, hey, thanks so much. Close. And I just sped off. I started walking so fast between those apartments to get away from this dude. I'm like, oh my fucking God. There are so many psychopaths in this world. One minute you're thinking, hey, I met a nice friend. This person seems like a nice person. I appreciate you picking me up. It was hot out there. And we were having regular everyday conversation. And then he just randomly turned it into some perverted shit about asking for pics of my butt, wanting to see my butt, wanting to see pics of my boob, or just let me let me flash him real quick, show him my boobs. Like, it's scary out here. So it makes me think, like, how many other young ladies did he pick up on, like, a hot day where she thinks, hey, things is hot out there. And then he just turns into a psycho wanting to see her nude. So, yeah, be careful. Be smarter than me, please. Be smarter than me. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, my cherry was popped as far as I got my first hater comment from a psychopath. I'm going to share that with you. <laughs> I'm going to share that real quick. 
So um, when you become a celebrity like me with 100 subscribers, people get envious, okay? They get envious. So um, this guy on one of my videos, he put, bitch, look at you. Ain't no one want to fuck with you. And then almost two hours later, he came back to that same video. So I guess he couldn't get me out of his head. He came to that same video saying, your fro do and monkey nose do you can't match. Whatever the fuck that means, whatever the fuck he was trying to say. So like when you become a celebrity out here in these streets with 100 subscribers, I mean, shit happens. Shit happens. <laughs> but I'm telling you, so... When people get hostile like that, um, just really angry and enraged, it's because what you're saying applies to them. So that video, like it, it triggered them. It hit a nerve because he saw himself. I was basically holding a mirror up and he saw himself in that video. He's probably one of those fuck boys I was talking about. So he's upset. Like, how dare you put me out there like that and my fellow fuck boy brothers. So everything I was saying, applied to him that's why he took it personal and got upset and got real mad and angry and disrespectful but fuck boys like that more than likely <laughs> he's sitting in his roach infested trailer uh eating a can of tuna uh made no attempts at all to wash his ass that day using the Wi-Fi from the McDonald's next door on his dollar store track phone to just talk shit from his fake empty profile like a hurt coward. So these guys are just pathetic. They just sit around all day trolling from empty accounts trying to just hurt random strangers for nothing. When I'm here, I want to have fun with you guys. I want to laugh and talk about our experiences. Let's just have a good time. So I do appreciate you guys, my subscribers and even people who aren't subscribed, who are just decent people who just want to have fun, share some laughs and go their way. So um, let's just smile, <laughs> laugh and have a good time. Uh, thank you all. I definitely see your comments. Thank you all for your kind words, your support. I appreciate you. You are amazing. And um, I was looking at the analytics. It was like 49% USA and 50, like over 50% other. Where are you guys from? I'm so curious. If you could comment below of um, where you're watching this video. I am so curious to know where you guys are from. Because I'm here in the USA, uh, Columbus, Ohio, to be exact. I'm born and raised here. Uh, but I was living in Houston, Texas for about six, seven years before I came back here. So where are you guys from and where are you guys watching my video now? I'm so, so curious. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. I'm Nettie. Nettie, that's me. Please thumbs up, like the video, and below, let me know where you're from and where you're watching the video from. I'm so curious. Uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.